uh, the first step of problem solving, which is understanding the problem. Before we do part A, let's go ahead and follow that process and see if it helps us understand what the problem is about. So it says draw the largest circle possible on a square piece of paper. So that would look something like this. It says cut out the circle and discard the trimmings. So if I cut out the circle and discard the trimmings, those yellow parts are the trimmings. And so we'd be left with that circle that I colored maroon. Inside the circle, it says draw the largest square possible. So that would look something like this. And then it says cut out the square and discard those trimmings. So if I cut out the square and if I color the trimmings in, uh, in green, in light, light green, then uh, what I'm left with is a blue square and a large square and trimmings. Those are the three main things that we see here. So it says, what fraction of the original square piece of paper has been cut off and thrown away? So uh, the, the cut off and thrown away piece can be thought of in this way. Cut off and thrown away are yellow and green trimmings. And the original square piece of paper is the largest area. But let's go ahead and look at part A. It says understanding the problem. The shaded portion of this diagram shows the trimmings that will be thrown away in the first step of the paper cutting process. If the length of the side of the square is two centimeters, what percentage of the area of the square is the area of the shaded region? All right, so a few things we need to do here. First of all, let's go ahead and label this as two centimeters. Okay, and then uh, it looks like we would like the area of the original square. This is the area of the square. And that's the original square. So that's something that we can, uh, that we can do here. So let me write that down. So it's uh, the area of original square. which is four, four times, I'm sorry, no, it's two times two, which is four centimeters squared. Okay, then it says, uh, the other thing we need is the area of the shaded region. So to get the area of the shaded region, we actually need to subtract the area of the circle from the whole thing. So let's try to get the area of the circle. So the area of the circle is pi, which is 3.14, and then times the radius, which is two, no, which is one, squared, pi r squared. So that would be 3.14, because one squared is one, one times 3.14 is 3.14, and it's also centimeters squared. Okay, so that's the area of, of the circle. And so now, to get the area of the yellow so in in my picture it's yellow and in their picture let's say that's a salmon color so depending on on which uh picture you're looking at or you could just call it first set of trimmings if that's easier maybe we should do, just do that So uh, that's going to be four 
centimeters squared take away 3.14 centimeters squared which leaves us with uh, approximately what would that be 1.86 or centimeters or centimeters squared. Okay, so then the final thing that we need to do here is uh, to do the area of first trimmings, which in their picture is the salmon color, in my picture it's the yellow color, divided by uh, area of original square. Now, this isn't what they're asking for. But it's to give us an idea of what process we might be going through when we're trying to get to the actual task. Um, so this, in this case, it would be 1.86 divided by 3.14 times 100, because they wanted in percentage in this. So that would be 59%.